there is a lot of <clears throat> misunderstanding and superstition around magic. And I really wanted to make something clear from what I understand from my higher self and understanding energy and the law of attraction. You get whatever you give. You, whatever you emanate out, you're gonna vibrate back. It's all vibrational energy. So if you think that doing things that are magical and mystical are the devil's playground, then you're absolutely correct. And if you try to do anything with that kind of a mentality, you're going to manifest things of a lower vibrational frequency of energy and magic. But if you understand from a higher perspective that energy is just energy and whatever thought you attach to that energy is going to be your reality. So if you think that it is the devil's playground, then yes, by all means, it's going to be for you, for your experience only. And then if you project out all your fears and hate, you might get a few more people that you can scare and fear into your timeline of being scared of things you do not understand. So let me give you a little bit of a higher perspective understanding. When you know you are everything and you've been everything and you've been everyone and you've been in every situation, you've been killed every single way you can possibly imagine and you've had every experience there is possible because you're, you're a, a soul that is energy that never sleeps. So you're experiencing stuff all the time. Whether your body's asleep, you're experiencing something on the astral travel somewhere else. So you're experiencing life of, of, of as, as a soul 24-7, as we humans like to call time, 24-7. So energy is just energy. Whatever, whatever thought, because we live in a virtual reality where a placebo pill can kill cancer. If you think it can, it can. Therefore, if you want to manifest demonic things and lower vibrational things with using magic, then yes, that is what you are going to manifest. And that is what you're going to project out into the world. And that is your truth and your reality. Yes, because you know why? Because that is what you manifest when you dabble in anything like that you do not understand. That's what's wrong with, um, with a lot of the possessions and stuff. People were organically having their kundalini wake up, their energy wake up in their body, and it was making them move. And then they had the possibility of being able to go stigmatic on a higher vibration if they chose to have a higher vibration of no judgment. And this is just an experience. It's not a bad experience. It feels good to me, so I'm just going to go with that higher experience. Therefore, they experience the higher realm of stigmata. Where when a person on the lower vibrational part of stigmata will actually, when their body starts moving, if somebody's around them that is in their ego, which is fear, will pass judgment upon that person. And if they cannot understand what's going on with that person, and that person doesn't understand what's going on with that person with themselves, then guess what? Ego, 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 until they have manifested demonic possession. That's all it was. People didn't understand the organic experience of your energy and your body moving and how the neural system pathways work. And if you just get out of the way and let your higher self work and run the show, you heal yourself. <sighs> I just, I'm going to do another video on healing yourself because that's what I'm doing and I can't even begin to preach it more and more and more about healing yourself. But the, the reason I wanted to do this, this one, because I, I burn, uh, I love to burn Archangel candles. This is an Archangel Michael candle. I don't have to, but I just like it. It just gives me some ambiance in the room and it makes me feel good, which, what does that do? Raise my vibration. And then I call in protection. But if I'm just going to light a candle, why not throw some intent on there, right? I mean, we're in an energy world and the more intent, the more belief you have on it, the more powerful it is, right? So I realize I don't need it. I'm the most powerful thing I am, but I like the way it lights up the, you know, it just it has a nice warm ambiance. So that is a higher vibration. So anything else that I can do to make myself even better, that's like breaking the walls of where I was and going a whole another dimension higher. <clears throat> and that's what I'm all about is excelling my life every day. Every, I want to be able to go to bed the best I've ever been and wake up better than I was yesterday every day of my life that I wake up now. Because now I understand the true meaning of life. And it, is about, it isn't about anybody else but yourself. It's about healing yourself. And once you heal yourself and you understand... 
you have a bigger perspective on anything and it's just like things happen and it's like well that doesn't affect me anymore because I understand the bigger picture because I know we're all experiencing things for a higher purpose but anyway we're gonna get back onto the candles so I've already done my Archangel Michael candle then I was like well I should have done a video so I have one more to do so I'll dress this candle but what I have done is I've taken some I like the Saigon cinnamon because that's what I eat in my oatmeal every day it's really good for your health and then I have some raw cane sugar which I don't usually use sugar but I have some on hand you know for my hummingbirds <laughs> but these two here combination I just take a pinch of each and just mix it up in my hand and the combination is like a protection and a blessing all in one. And then all of my oils I make personally. This one has got real rosemary sprig in it with rose, uh, rose oil, a full that much of rose oil. And I've, I've set it out during eclipses and it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And I've had this thing for about a year, but I just used to do a little, little bit. I just do just a little bit, right? And then I've put it into my, my cinnamon and my sugar. Now, I've already taken a little bit of that dry cinnamon and just topped up just a little bit, not much, on the top. So it's a protection. I haven't cut the, cut the wick yet. But I put the oil here, rub it in my hands, and I figure, what do I want to do with Archangel Michael? Well, Archangel Michael vibrates on the vibration of seven, which is God's frequency. So I'm going to have the vibration of seven attached to what I'm doing, which is God's frequency and protection. So Michael's all about protection. So <clears throat> what I did is um, called in the intention that I want. And I'll do it on this one to kind of show you what I did. And then I rubbed the candle seven times and that's the vibration of seven. And then I took my Super Blood Moon Eclipse uh, oil that I got with Moldavite and Tektite that I set out three years, two years ago when we had that Super Blood Eclipse. It was so powerful. I still have a little bit left. And I just rubbed the rim seven times, right? So that's even more powerful because you're rubbing clockwise. So that's bringing things in, right? <laughs> Intention is everything but you do it out of love because you realize with the law of attraction that if you do anything with a negative vibration and that has to do with energy, you're going to get that back. And if it has to do with darker, like sending malicious, dark black magic, that's like tenfold. You're going to get that back times 10. You're going to do that back to yourself. So I would really recommend not dabbling in the lower version of magic because what you emanate out, you're going to get back. So if you're emanating good magic to heal the world and heal yourself, because you heal the world by healing yourself, right? Because that's the energy you're projecting. So why not add a little extra intent in my healing to help heal the world, right? So this is how magic can actually help you if you're not scared of it. If you know how to properly use it, because if you realize it is whatever you make it, it is truly whatever you make it. So now I'm going to do this one. So I've already taken some of the, the cinnamon sugar and did that. And um, today is Tuesday. And Tuesday vibrates with energy as the color of red, okay? It's a leadership, it's strength, vitality, and, and so there's a different color that you can light every day of the week. And then on Saturday, you light a black candle, and that burns all the negativity from the, all that week that you had brought to you or come upon you from bad karma or anybody else's bad karma, burns all that away, and then you start out the next day with a self-healing candle of yellow and then a white one, you know, for protection and to enhance your psychic gifts. So if you know how to use the colors of the week and you light a candle, like I'm, I was going to light the, my reg leadership candle today. And so what I did is I wrote strength here and leadership. But as I was writing, it was really interesting because spirit, my higher self, uh, flows through me and moves my hand. And so what, it was really interesting. Because, you know, a lot of times when we write, we, we will write it like E and then, and then we'll take our pen away and then write the slash and then H slash slash and then take our pen away. But what spirit or what my higher self, let me start getting into my higher self. My higher self wanted me to do is make a full complete, full complete. Never take that pen off the, um, the glass until I was actually finished with the whole thing to actually bring it together in unity. And so that's what my, uh, my higher self was was putting the subliminal 
programming into how I was writing it on the candle even. So subliminally, by, by taking a marker and writing leadership across it, you're infusing the, lead, the energy of leadership into that candle and strength, right? And so as you write it, write it with intent, like I'm being unity, so I'm bringing all of this together as one. I'm not taking my pin off and making another slash to make the A. I hope you understand that. Interesting, I didn't know that, but that's just what I found out, so I thought I would share that. And on the back, where the barcode is, you notice I've, I've slashed it. I go, I, I said cancel, clear, delete, slash, 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 slash. So you get all four corners in all directions. And any programming that was made into that candle prior to you getting it, toxic, anything, because all anything with a barcode is a matrix. And so that's subliminal programming you, whether you like it or not. So you're canceling out all that subliminal programming, taking out all the negative energy, because after that, and now I'm getting ready to do actually what um, you haven't seen yet. So this is what I did so far to the candle, and with the intent of the candle, with the vibration of love. Okay, so leadership and strength. Now, leadership and strength, let's see. We're vibrating with a candle of red. Red equals love. So why don't we just go with the vibration of love today to add, infuse into our leadership and strength candle, which is fitting with red. Because if you are in, in the vibration of love, you own your true authentic self and so you're own leader. And you're, off, you're strong. So that makes sense. Let's go with the number six. So we're going to vibrate this whole candle to the vibration of six. So I had a little bit left of the um, cinnamon and uh, sugar, so I put it in my hand, right, right here. And so now I gotta figure out what I want. So this one has been infused many times, and this is for success. So I'm gonna just take just a little bit, tiny little drop of success, and understand that when you put that on there, that is infusing success, right? And oh, my moon magic. So this one I like to use when I'm using my moon, and today's the, the new moon, and it's on the 11th, so it's a powerful day. So I'm gonna put a little drop of that moon magic, which is infused with my real authentic Egyptian oil I bought in Egypt, amazing. And prosperity, we're gonna go with some prosperity because what do we want? We gotta be prosperous, right, in all areas of our life. I'm gonna add a little drop of prosperity right there. Okay, so from there, I'm going to take my other stuff that is just super, super infused and just put it on my hand and rock it back. And so there's just a hint of it on there. So I got all the oils here and now I'm going to go do it like this and I'm going to do this in front of you. So I'm just going to kind of go and do what I need to do. So I'll just let you watch what, what I do. So I seal the top. I seal the top with my palm. Put it right over my heart chakra. Close my eyes. Breathe in through my crown chakra, and when I breathe out, I don't breathe out my nose, or breathe out my mouth, I breathe out my nose, and I imagine myself pushing all, when I do that, I bow my head, so we're in that prayer position mode, right? So we bow our heads, we cut the energy off, and so we're pushing all that energy down through, past our throat chakra, and then down to our heart chakra, and then down energy into the candle. So we're imagining bringing all that energy down. So this is what it happens, this is what it looks like. Cancel clear and charge this candle with divine energy of love and light, infused with strength and leadership for the betterment of all humanity. I'm going to breathe in all what I just put in tent. And then trap it right in there. The power of your breath and your intent is so powerful. So make sure it's always for good. And you've trapped that in there, right? So it's in there. It's infused. That candle is infused right now with leadership, love, divine protection, God, everything. Oh, it's amazing. You can feel it. It's powerful. So from there, I'm going to do this six times. I'm going to go from the seal where it's at, and I'm going to, I'm going to 
go all the way down the candle and I'm gonna go fast out the other end. So I'm gonna bring in everything I need to bring in to make this happen and then get rid of everything else that's standing in the way. So I'm gonna go one seal, two seal, three seal, four seal, five, last one, seal, six. So now you have a charged, oiled, infused, divinely infused with love and everything you need for the betterment of human humanity. So, this is, so what I emanate, I'm gonna emanate out for everybody else to have this too. That's where the good magic comes in. I'm putting a heavy intent into this candle, okay? And so I've got it seven times, or six times now. So now I'm gonna take my other oil, my Eclipse, Super Blood Eclipse Moon oil, just a dab of that, right? Now do not let your finger come off the rim. So if you need to do it slowly, do it slowly. I start right at the front and go one, two, three, four, you feel the energy, five, six, boom, done. You wanna keep your finger on it all the time and always go clockwise because you're bringing everything in that needs to come in. So it comes in the, it comes in the candle, down, and then everything else that is coming out is all the energies that are blocking all of your abundance. So that is done. Then what you do <coughs> is you cut just the tip of the wick. I always say bless as I get ready to cut it in my head or out loud. So I go bless like that. So what that does is opens the channel for all of that to come in. So now it's an open channel. Now you need to, I like to use regular matches instead of lighters for my candles. So as I go to light this, I'm gonna use one. I'm gonna, in my head or out loud, say bless. With, with no harm to none. It is so. Once you light it, do not blow it out. Do not blow it out. Because if you have any ill intent or any subconscious blocks or any negative energy inside of you, which 99% of the world does, and you blow that intent out with that fire, it is super powerful. Do not do that unless you are completely healed. If you have a candle, snuff it out. Don't blow it out. Okay? That'll do more harm to you than, than good. So I do that one. As I, where I go to put the... Um, this right here is, is sac, um, sacrilegious, or not sacrilegious, it is um, used for uh, magic purposes. So this is very powerful. So if you just go and throw it away, you're losing your power right there. So before you set it down, say bless. And that takes, that seals up that power for that. So nobody can go in there and, it, you know, nothing can happen to that. It's sealed, done, it's lit right now, you're going. So the same thing for the second one. I'm going to take another um, match. I'm going to say bless as I light it. And I'm gonna light it and say, with no harm to none, it is so. Or so would it be, and it is, amen, whatever you wanna do. Get the, can get the um, match out before you put it down, say bless. And that, my friends, is truly how to truly do magic with intent to not only better yourself every day, but as you better yourself, you project bettering yourself out into the world. And so when you do project a healed energy out into the world every day, then the, you are actually truly healing the world and you don't have to touch anybody. That's not how it was meant to be. We're not supposed to go around healing everybody. We are supposed to heal ourselves and project a healed energy to get everybody to wanna to heal themselves too. And by using magic, and understanding the true meaning of how you can use it. And yes, it is what you intend, but I'm telling you right now, it'll be a really uncomfortable experience for you. I'm not gonna say it's a bad experience because it's gonna be your own personal experience for you to have and you to, you to overcome. All I can just say is it's, it's gonna be an uncomfortable experience if you choose to go down the lower vibrational path of magic and not understand it. Always have good intent. God bless.